My fellow sentient sacks of stardust, what is up? Michael Phillip from Third Eye Drops here. Um, you've probably heard all sorts of fantastic claims about the Wim Hof method at this point. Right now, I'm holding 26 uh, Guinness World Records and all uh, related to extreme cold. My records range from staying in the ice for one hour, 53 minutes in direct contact with the ice, running fastest half marathon barefoot, climbing Kilimanjaro in record time in shorts, swimming underneath the ice for the longest distance. I created a method. The components are breathing, mindset, and cold exposure gradual, non-forced cold exposure. And that's to optimize the mind-body connection. Wim has figured out ways, namely through breath work and through exposure to cold, to take conscious control over aspects of his physiology that for most people, they simply can't tune into and control. I myself have been doing it for a little over a year now. Um, I've definitely pushed myself to places I never thought I could go before, but I'm not going to get into my mediocre accomplishments with it uh, because I think it's intimidating for people and it, it sets kind of unrealistic expectations, especially for the first time. So today I want to take a look at what happens on the very first round of Wim Hof breathing that you will ever do. We've got my friend Jason who's behind the camera right now, um, but he, he's not a super athlete. He doesn't run um, ultra marathons that I know of. He's a, he's a pretty normal dude. So let's see what happens to a normal <laughs> dude on his very first round of Wim Hof breathing ever. No bullshit, very first time. It could be terrible. Let's find out. Yeah. All right, fully in. Let go. Pull in. Pull in as deep as you can. Let go. Let go. Last one. Pull in deep, 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 deep. Go and just be there, brother. And punch it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel it. Not bad. Hey my friends, if you found those musings amusing, I hope you will enter our curiosity coven a little bit further by clicking the subscribe button. You can also check out our podcast, of which there are dozens and dozens of episodes with artists, authors, philosophers, and scientists. You can find that on iTunes, thirdeyedrops.com, or wherever it is you consume your podcasty content. Much love, my friends.